What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks bringing up Ryan Hopman and uh, sending Tavo Teravine down to the minors. Get some thoughts on, on both matters. But I just want to start off with saying Hartman, I believe, will be the 13th player from that U.S. team that won the gold two years ago, the WJC, to uh, play in the NHL, which is very impressive considering we're, you know, what, eight, two years and a month away from that uh, that team that, you know, really did some great things, won that gold medal and, you know, putting some. Uh, Putting some fear into the rest of the world for the future of, you know, USA hockey. Um, you know, I can sit here and talk, speak volumes with that team, but you know, that's just you know how good that uh, that squad was. I like Hartman's game. I really do. I've been a fan of him since his draft year. You know, really plays straight up, physical forward. I think really has top nine potential in the NHL, and I think he's going to ease in the lineup gradually. And I think he could play some big time minutes on the stretch for the Hawks. Um, his game is tailor made for those you know tight check and playoff games, which the Blackhawks have played a lot of. Over the last, you know, four or five years, and the um, the intensity he brings to the ice night in, night out will make him a fan favorite in Chicago. And you know, the fact that he's a West on the Illinois native definitely helps in that regard. But again, I, I love watching this kid play. I love watching him with Plymouth and with the U.S. Uh, development team. Saw him playing person with Team USA um, and the U18 team against BU, I think, three years ago. That was a pretty good team. Um, you know, Grizz like Jones and True, but they don't play. Those are the two I wanted to play, wanted to watch, and they both scratched that game, which you know kind of sucks. But um, you know, Hartman's physicality is definitely an asset to him, and you know, whatever team's employing him, and uh, you know, I just think you watch this kid play, and he's able to play in all situations. Obviously, Quenville's going to ease him in the lineup. You know, not put him in over his head. You know, that's when the Hawks MO is to develop prospects slowly. But at 20 years old, Hartman's showing he can play. You know, top nine. You know, play. Third, fourth line minutes um, right now in the NHL, and obviously down the line, you know, contribute more. He's compared to Gary Andrew Shaw. I think to a little more offensive pop um, than Shaw. But, you know, you never know how that stuff translates. Some guys are better in the NHL than they are in junior. Some guys are, most, 99% of guys are better in junior than they are in the NHL. Um, and Harper had a pretty good career with the with the uh, U18 team and the uh, the Plymouth Whalers. And then with regards to the Hawks, sending down Tamo Terramine, I think it's a smart move. I, I don't think he played that bad with, with Chicago. Um, you know, I think his defensive game is rounding out. And, um, you know, again, I, I like what I'm seeing from him on the puck. But let him go down to Rockford. Let him play some more minutes. I think the expectations of Blackhawks fans might kind of, oh, my God, this kid isn't delivering, you know, huge right away. You know, that's just the way it goes. I think letting him take his time to develop is beneficial to both him and the Blackhawks. It's more time the AHL never hurt anyone. And, uh, you know, giving him that, letting him, you know, iron out the kinks in his game, and then, you know, go from there. I think you're definitely um, looking at a very, very special player. And a guy I've been high on since they drafted him, um, you know, it was 2012. He was the youngest player in that draft. I think he's made the cutoff by two days. I guess right there, right here. Look it up. Made the cutoff by four days. So, um, you know, you look what he can do. You look at the, the shiftiness and the craftiness he has of the puck. He's going to be a fantastic player. I think. Tamper your expectations right for right now because he's 20, and you know it's tough to find minutes on that Blackhawks team. And uh, Chief from Boston Sports actually wrote that up pretty good. Hartman's game is better suited for bottom six role than Teravine's game ever will be. That's just you know when you get that kind of flash and, and dash and finesse, um, you know you got to be on a top six role, playing power play minutes, playing on top two lines, you know, being able to create offensive scoring chances, you know, going down there and playing, you know, with Costello with a guy like that is like, you know, not exactly perfect for his skill set, but sign up to Rockford's perfect for now. You know, we'll see uh, we'll see what he can do and we'll see uh, what happens next for the uh the fan. I'm excited to watch his development to be honest with you. Um I don't think he's gonna be like a Jimmy Hayes or, a, or Adam Clendenning, you know, type where he gets traded away. I think the Hawks can stay the course with him and um you know I think he's gonna do some great things down the line. And especially with the salary cap prayers you're gonna have this off season, they're gonna need guys like him and Hartman for that matter. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's like some sort of the power play with CJ on the Hawks uh calling up Ryan Hartman and sending Tavo Terravina down back down to the minors. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later guys.